week and we're gonna get some beginning of the week motivation we're gonna tackle the daggone thing and I just want you to know if I'm starting out my week like this you can start your week out like this because girlfriend's the messiest person on the planet I am just naturally messy I was a messy toddler I was a messy kid I'm a messy adult I'll probably be a messy elder I was probably a messy fetus so if I can do it you can do it y'all are gonna be so ashamed of me at the beginning of this video but just don't worry I'll make you proud at the end of this video but if we stay here any longer talking I'm gonna talk myself out of it which means I'm gonna talk you out of it <laughs> so let's just jump on it on it also look at my great nail job I could give you every excuse on the planet as to why it looks like this but I'm not here for excuses I've already fed them to myself and I'm the only one that really cares so it, it let's just let's just do it I've got to clear off my kitchen counters we've got to tackle this first because I have to make dinner in the crock pot and I literally have nowhere to put the crock pot. And y'all do not see my stove top right now, okay? Let's just all not, we just don't see that. Can I blame it on the fact that Shane made TikTok sandwiches last night? No, because that has nothing to do with TikTok sandwiches. <laughs> Shane's been making the TikTok sandwiches because he makes them better than me. He really does. So he's been making them and he usually leaves a mess behind, but I cannot blame that on him because I don't know who did that. But it's been there for so long that I wouldn't be able to remember anyway. I'm not pointing a finger at nobody. Because it's probably going to end up pointing back at me anyway. <laughs> Rocky, we got this? We got this? Yeah, high five. We got this, don't we, buddy? We got this. We can do it. As bad as my stovetop and countertops were, I dare to say that the floor was worse. The floor had crumbs all over it. I was stepping on them. It was making me grumpy. Like, I cannot handle, even with socks on, even with shoes on. If I hear the crunch of stuff in the floor, like little crumbs and stuff crunching underneath my feet or filling them underneath my socks, it drives me bonkers. And I'm ashamed to admit the floors had not been swept in at least a week. Everything just feels so up in the air and you could see like the floor was not finished in a lot of area, especially there in front of the sink. So it lacks a lot of structure and I'm the type of person that I thrive on structure. And I could blame it on the ADHD, but I think really in this instance, it's a lack of self-discipline because I need to just learn that sometimes it's gonna be a hectic environment and the homemaking can't just unmake just because the environment isn't as structured as I would like it to be. I think the most relatable thing in the homemaking world within every home of a homemaker is to realize we can't rely on motivation to get the thing done. We have to be self-disciplined to get that thing done. And that's really, really hard when you struggle with self-discipline no matter what that lack of self-discipline is the result of. I think everybody can relate to the lack of self-discipline in some area of their life. Rocky's new here. He can't figure out why mama keeps walking around with the camera. I'm moving my tripod around him and he's like, what is this? Thank you. You're like, what is this? Why are we moving this camera around the house? <laughs> You'll see him. He's leaned up against me right now. You'll see him follow me. <laughs> He literally leans up against me with all his weight and like pressure on my legs. You'll see him in the background of most of the video. You guys remember how in the trailer before we got this bigger trailer, Binks would follow me everywhere. He was my little shadow. Sometimes Tater did too, but Binks really followed me everywhere. Now he could care less, but now this one does it. <laughs> and I kind of missed being followed around like a shadow. He used to get on my nerves, but now that Binks he don't do it, I miss it. <laughs> He's a rescue, so he wants love, love, love all the time. Three of the five of my dogs are rescues. The only ones that aren't rescues are Moon Pie and Binks. And all three of the rescues are so different. Like Blue Jeans is crazy. She's wild, but she's so loving. But she's the, I'm gonna tackle you in a frenzy kind of love. I'm gonna literally like lick all over your face and tackle you to the ground and roll down the hill with you kind of crazy. Tater is the opposite. She's like, I'm going to love on you a little bit, but I'm going to run off and do my own thing or run through barbed wire fences into neighbor's fields and get herself into trouble. That's Tater's love language though. And then Rocky's is, I'm going to be with you every second of the day. I'm not going to leave your side. I'm going to lean on you. I'm going to kiss on you. I'm going to sit right beside you until you get whatever you need to get done. 
He's so different from the other two rescues. But it's nice to have one that wants to hang out with me all the time. Don't you? You want to hang out? Look, like, see the way that he just, like, looks? <laughs> what? He, like, nudges you. Look. <laughs> Show him what you do. But that's how... <laughs> You just went up in my face. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> you tell us about it. Like, why you got makeup on, girl? You never wear makeup. I do every now and then when I feel like it. <laughs> he also rubs on me like a cat. And he purrs, too. But it sounds more like a Mufasa sound. of the week so i wanted to do something super simple on the day i was filming this it was sunday but for you guys it's tuesday i wanted to do just a crock pot meal so i'm gonna do this garlic parmesan sort of chicken pasta stuff you get like the garlic parmesan sauce you would get at like buffalo wild wings but i get the great value version to me it tastes the exact same and it's cheaper i use that on some chicken usually like two to three sometimes four if they're stuck together <laughs> chicken breast and i put that on top of it and then i fill that bottle with milk and i shake it up really good just to get all that's left over because we don't want to waste nothing after i put the milk mixture in there i add just a block of cream cheese and then I add about a cup to a cup and a half of Parmesan. Usually I add shredded Parmesan, but I didn't have shredded Parmesan. So I just used the grated kind. I cooked it on high for about five and a half hours. And I just tend to cook my crock pot stuff on high because I usually forget to put it on till midday and it needs to get done fast. So I just cooked it on high for about five and a half hours. You can eat this on noodles like we do. You can make like shredded chicken sandwiches. Like that would be super good. You know how people eat the cracked chicken? Like instead of the cracked chicken, you could put this on the sandwich and eat it like a in sandwich form i think that would be really really good and this recipe isn't for everybody it's very bold it's very tart i had a very good friend on here she has been a viewer for forever and she <laughs> literally told me it tasted like fart and i can i can respect that because there's so many things i try from pinterest and youtube and it's just nasty it is not up my alley at all so i respect the honesty it's not for everybody but we do happen to like it a lot <laughs>
ever hear random weird little breaks in the songs that I put on here, it's because I literally go through them and edit them as I post them. So if they have bad words in them, like obviously I don't use bad word songs on here. Out of respect for my friends on here that don't like those words and don't use those words. And then I try to remember that I got mamas on here that are listening to me while they're getting stuff done in the house. And there's littles probably running around and I don't want those little ears to hear things like that. So I try to splice them as best I can. Sometimes I try to make it funny and I splice two parts together that just sound funny. But sometimes I just have to splice two parts together that work together and just move along with the video. I know how I feel whenever I'm watching a YouTube video or I have it in the background and me and the kiddos are doing things around the house and then all of a sudden a big old bad word comes up and my kids stop dead in their tracks and look at me with the most judgmental look on the planet. <laughs> They, they, they're like, I, I, you should be ashamed. And I'm like, I didn't put it on there. I didn't know it was going to be on there. So I don't want that happening to none of y'all. So to avoid that, I just avoid that kind of language altogether. All of my kids... <laughs> Well, most of my kids are good about school and their expressions out in public. So if they hear it out in public or something, or we go to a family members where they use those words, then they can school their expression. All of them, but one of them. <laughs> but in the home, <laughs> they let the expressions go because they know that they're free to do so. And boy, the looks that I get. I know not to even look in their direction when I hear one come on the TV or something because I know the look I'm about to get. I finally found something from Ross. I will not be purchasing again. Is the world ending? I don't know because I've never not absolutely loved anything I got from Ross except for now. The little clippy flower clip I had in my hair, two of them broke on me today. Two of them. One of them, I literally just pressed it to put it to clip it at the back of my head. It broke on me. The last one I was sitting down, eating lunch, leaned my head up against the wall and snap, it broke on me. Into pieces, not just broke on me once, like into pieces. So now it's either leave my hair down or put it up in the bun. And the whole reason it was down was because I'm trying to save my hairline because we're looking like George Washington. I'm gonna end up having to get like Rogaine or something and I don't wanna do that. Not at 32, like come on. I'm be getting dentures. I'm gonna be getting Rogaine. <laughs> We have a dance. We've been dancing like that since I was 17. <laughs> I have to be so careful with quick movements and loud things like these Legos here because Rocky 
has issues with those. So anytime we get ice out of the ice machine, he flips out. I mean, he just, he, he's beside himself. Anytime he hears something shift like Legos, he's so skittish. And I don't really know why. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know a lot of his history. I mean, when I tell you he gets petrified, he's, he's petrified. I mean, more than scared, he's petrified. So I'm trying to get him used to those sounds out in public. He does really well. Um, I'm currently teaching him like leash training and stuff and he does really well out in public but it's the big noises all of a sudden that really get him so I have to be really careful about that. Also things like the broom here anything stick wise he will just not have so I've been trying to sweep around him in a very like slow calm way and then have him smell the broom to let him know like hey this is not for you like if that's what you're thinking this is not for you this is for the dirt on the floor and he kind of gets calm once I let him sniff it and know that it's okay but it's been interesting trying to work around his his feelings and his reactions to things because he's I've never met a dog that's that normal until something happens and then boom he's like skittish he's like this skittish dog that wants to go and hide somewhere and that's it's it's a bizarre change on the pile of laundry i'm going to get the noodles going for the pasta tonight so that we're eating at a decent time because i know it's gonna take me forever to do that laundry the chicken is smelling banging and it's coming along just fine like slop straight out of the trash can but it, it is so good you just have to trick your brain into thinking it looks okay just like i tricked my brain into thinking i'm snatched every day my confidence level was at a 100 percent all the time because i tricked my brain into thinking i'm snatched it's actually a life hack <laughs> you are snatched love you i got your food right there oh it smells good like i said it looks like slop but it tastes so good yum all right Let's do the dang on thing. <laughs> Laundry and sleeping and mopping floors are probably my two biggest struggles in the home as far as homemaking goes. I've always struggled with laundry though. I know like two years ago when my channel was just like starting and up and coming and stuff, I did a video where I did 32 loads of laundry throughout an entire week. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure I remember in that video or saying about that video in another video that I had learned my lesson and I would never let that happen again. And here we are. I could do this off camera and nobody would know about it. But what is the point of that? What is the point in having a platform if you have to hide things? 
there is no point in having a platform if you're not transparent, so transparent that you that other people can relate to you. There's no point in me having this platform if I'm not being honest with you guys. And this is this is the honesty. This is me showing you the 20th time I said I'm going to get my act together on laundry and I haven't yet to get my act together when it comes to laundry. <laughs> Will I one day? Oh, I pray to God I do. I pray that I will one day. And you know what? That one day will probably be whenever I only have one kiddo in the house. The other three have went on to be successful in their life and had their own families. And then I think I might just miss having this laundry. And I think even though my back was breaking by the end of this, I might just miss having all this laundry. I won't miss being a bad homemaker, but <laughs> I probably will miss having all this laundry to do. This is what a month of washing the same load in the washer because it smells like a fart looks like for me. This, I, I washed the same load. I wore them clothes out. I washed the same load. I know, I know 15 times within the past month. Like it has very rarely, if at all, been switched over. So nothing else has got washed. And this is the result of that. I need to come up with a system. And this is, I've been trying out different systems for the past couple of years when it comes to laundry. And a lot of them work. They work like a charm. But that self-discipline thing starts coming in. And it's where I get behind two days and I'm like, oh, snap. I haven't done laundry in the past two days. I'll do a load tonight. I go to bed and I wake up and I'm like, oh, snap. I didn't do a load of laundry yesterday. I'll do it tonight. And I go to bed and I wake up and it's just over and over. We're like Groundhog Day in it. Like over and over and over again. And I've learned that's actually a thing in my brain that holds me back in a lot of areas in my life where I'll think to do that something that's always on my mind, but I won't do it right then. So what I've been trying to do to combat that is when something comes up in my mind like, oh, I need to switch over that laundry, I do it right then. I stop what I'm doing and I do it right then. Because I know later, if I say later, later's not going to come until like two months from now. And so I've learned that I need to do it right then. So if I'm sitting there and I'm like, uh, I need to straighten my hair tomorrow. Don't let me forget, Marina. And I make a mental note. Well, Marina lets me forget every time. <laughs> she lets me forget and then she let, she reminds me too late. So I do it right then. And I've been trying really hard to do that in areas where I can do that. And it does help a whole lot. That's been sort of a life hack for me lately is doing that thing the minute I think of it, as long as I can, you know, like I can't think, oh, I need to go to Disney this year and then just go to Disney. <laughs> but like when it comes to things around the home and making appointments, doing important phone calls, things like that, it would help for procrastinators, people who procrastinate like myself, um, people who lack self-discipline like myself, people who struggle with ADHD like myself, those of you who struggle with anxiety, depression. I think in all of that, you'd see an improvement. Load one is done. I'm going to have the kiddos run them and we're going to start a new one. And if you don't know what run is, literally it's what I call it when the kids run the laundry to its respected area. Respected area? Respectable area. Why are we respecting laundry areas? That's so confusing. They run it to where it belongs. I'm gonna have them run this and then we're gonna start another load.
music videos going on in the background while I was doing all this laundry because I was at this for a good hour and a half, maybe two hours. It took me a while to get all this stuff folded, which I go pretty slow anyway, like when it comes to folding clothes because I get distracted. So I had music going on in the background and the kiddos and Shane were like trying to decipher and and like break the codes of the music videos and it was so funny because they were getting so into it <laughs> even Shane like he was trying to figure out what it meant and especially when you get to like Taylor Swift lyrics or stuff like that like there's always codes in there and he was trying to break the code and it was so funny <laughs> somebody just really slammed a toilet seat in there <laughs> clothes dwindle down in that box makes me so motivated <laughs> i don't even have no more clothes to wash and i'm motivated to go wash clothes i might just play that back whenever i'm drowning in laundry again to motivate myself because that's motivating whenever we go to do the laundry room makeover i want to really put a focus on being able to utilize it like not just to wash clothes and dry clothes but I want like a folding area to fold clothes and a hanging area to hang clothes. I want to really like have a good place to store the dirty clothes to where they're not all out in the open. And I don't want them piling up and over into the kitchen. I want it to be often 
hidden. Well, maybe I want it to be often hidden. I don't think often hidden is a good idea if you ask me because the often hidden part would just, I'd just get too comfortable with that. So I just want to have it to where I can utilize it because look at this. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning. If not, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you. But Jesus loves you so much more. I'll see y'all later.